Right behind me is my new pergola. This is episode two, and in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I built the pergola with the joists, the rafters, and the sun shaders, and finish up all the hardscaping. Stay tuned so you don't miss a thing. Like I discussed in episode one of this build, the overall design I wanted to keep really, really simple. The ultimate goal was to put a hammock on it, so I decided to go with a two-post pergola. For overall aesthetics and look, I didn't really go by any particular design. I just sort of cut a couple different shapes and something I thought would look good and put them up there and went with it. And I'm really happy. It looks super cool and it's sort of has a, a different look to it. I don't know what you'd call it, but it's me. <laughs> For hardware choices, I really like the look of the black hardware on pergolas, and it was super easy to find. Uh, I got it at the local store, and it worked out great. It's not too bad cost-wise, but uh, it really makes a huge impact, so I'm glad I did it. Now, I built this whole area out of pressure-treated wood. Uh, I did that for longevity, and Ultimately, next year after it's had a good long time to dry out, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it or put a stain on it and probably tint it brown. One of the other things I did that you might find really helpful is I used a router and knocked over all the cut edges so that it profiled the same as when you pick it up. You know, it had a round edge on it from the uh, lumber store and I wanted to make sure it matched. I just think it, it's like one more step of finishing that, I don't know, a lot of people don't do it and I think it looks nice. Now, for the top shaders, what I did was I took uh, two by eights and some two by sixes. I actually ripped them down and they're two and a half inches wide by inch and a half. And then I also cut an eight degree bevel on one side of it. I've got on this forward facing side, they're all slanted uh, in this way towards the center. And then on the opposite side, they are also slanted in this way towards the center, so when you look at it from the sides, you just see a little bit of an angle on them. Uh, and I did that just mostly for aesthetics. I don't think it really does anything functionally as far as uh, sunshade goes, but it looks pretty neat. So my experience with concrete is incredibly limited. Really, it's 
setting posts and stuff like that over the years. So I used quite a bit of concrete in this project because uh, obviously the posts have tons of concrete in them. And then uh, the stairs I built, I actually dug in and set a footer for each stairs so that I could mortar the brick onto that. I had never done mortar work before either, so that was pretty interesting. When I was doing the mortar work, I had shot a little video uh, and we put it up on, on social media. And I had a couple masons hit me back and say, hey, your mix is a little too wet. Um, and one guy I talked to a little bit and he gave me a lot of tips. One thing he said that I wanted a more of a, like a peanut butter type consistency. Uh, and that helped a lot. So I always made sure to, you know, slowly mix up the mortar. And I bought one of those like plastic mortar tubs, which at the time I was like, do I really need this? I've got a wheelbarrow. Um, but I'm so glad I did because I used it all the time and it was so helpful because I could actually quickly move it fore and aft and, you know, probably the hardest thing was just trying to get, you know, a third of the bag in there and not the whole bag. Anything of note about the boulders themselves? No, not, I mean, some of them are heavy. <laughs> Those damn boulders, man. Holy smokes. I like the look of string lights, but I also think that it can be overdone quickly. Uh, I know this from experience because at one point in time, uh, I had a yard that looked like a nightclub. Uh, I, I went a little too crazy with the light fixtures, the string lights. So this time around, I was a little more judicious about string lights and incorporated low voltage LEDs. One of the hardest things I'm having right now is I've got up lighting on the pergola, which looks killer at night, but you get hit in the eyes with it every once in a while. So I've been really playing around positioning and trying to, trying to minimize that as much as possible. I'll figure it out eventually.
When it came time to choosing the actual hammock, right? The most important thing in this whole build, the hammock. I didn't want one of those new fancy ones with the canvas on it, built-in pillows and all that stuff. I wanted traditional, not style ropes, low maintenance, and it comes with a pillow, which is pretty killer. At first I was like, who wants a pillow with their hammock? But I gotta tell you, I was using it last night watching football. It was fantastic. <laughs>